First Nations people of Canada were hunter-gatherers. They relied on hunting, fishing, and gathering edible plants, roots, and berries for food. The women gathered food when it was available, but the men provided the main source of food by hunting and fishing. First Nations people handcrafted a variety of tools to acquire their food. They hunted bison, elk, deer, moose, and other fur-bearing animals using bows and arrows, spears, snares and pits, deadfalls, harpoons, traps, and nets made of cedar bark. Sometimes, hunters would wear animal hides to blend in with the herd so they could sneak up close enough to hunt them with their bows. Aboriginals did not waste any part of the harvested animal, but used it for food, tools, clothing, and weapons. For example, buffalo hides were used to make moccasins, shields, tent covers, and ropes. Their horns, hoofs, tails, hair, bones, and sinew were used to make tools and utensils. They even used buffalo dung as fuel sometimes. Breech cloth, leggings, shirts, and long dresses were made from antelope skins. used cedar bark and roots to make clothing, tools, shelter, hats, rope, nets, medicine, canoes, paddles, spears, totem poles, and art. Because they could use a tree for so many important things, they considered cedar a sacred tree. Red cedar could live up to 1,000 years and grow over 70 meters tall. Bark was stripped from the tree in long, wide pieces, but in such a way that it would not kill the tree. living near the Pacific Ocean, salmon was the most important food source. When the salmon swam upstream to spawn in the fall, they were very easy to catch with nets, harpoons, and traps. There was an abundance of Pacific salmon, and the First Nations would catch thousands of fish in just a small area. Some of these fish were eaten fresh, but most were dried, smoked, and saved for the cold winter months. Other meats and berries were preserved in the same way. It was very important for the First Nations to preserve enough food for the winter when hunting and gathering was often unsuccessful. Food that was not being preserved for the winter would be baked, steamed, or boiled in cedar boxes. They did not have pots and pans like we do today, so what they would do is put a big rock in the fire until it was very hot fill the cedar box with water, and then place the hot rock in the water. The rock would boil the water and thereby cook the food. The cedar baskets were waterproof because the cedar would swell when it was wet and the cracks would close up. Mm -hmm. 